the brake is on there, and the uh, was able to take advantage of it. Onto the front stretch, right, and white flag here. one lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank, for Ty Gibbs. The 20-year-old into turn one for the final time. Ty Gibbs has been out front for 27 laps today, 21 times Allmendinger led. Mayer was in front for five laps, and a good recovery for Sam Mayer. We heard Allmendinger mention what this race could do for his confidence tomorrow in the cup car. Well, you wonder what it will do for Ty Gibbs right there, just above the bubble, doing a nice job in the cup car. He starts 10th tomorrow, and he had very good pace. Actually, I didn't think he qualified as fast as he was in practice. He runs these races in the Xfinity Series to win. And he hasn't been able to do that. He's got a handful of top five finishes in the few starts he has this year. So this will be a refreshing trip to victory lane as he's able to pull it off. He's spent the last few corners. Yeah, this is his seventh race of 2023. And now through the final turns here. 11, 12, 13, and coming up on 14. Almost an eight-second lead over Sam Mayer. It's Ty Gibbs. Gibbs is going to win at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Second, Almondinger, Austin Hill, Allgaier, and then Cole Custer and Parker Kligerman. Sheldon Creed, Rowla, and Moffitt rounding out the top ten. Gibbs already starting his burnout. last year in the Xfinity Series, I think, you know, he, he and a lot of people believe awesome. Thank you so much. he would win a lot when he came and run, ran these races, and it's been a little bit of a struggle, been, been more difficult than I think he or the rest of us thought it would be this year. You can see how excited he is to get this win. The burn out there in turn seven. There you go. difficult for some of these guys to get back to pit road in the garage. Again tomorrow he'll start in the top 10 in the cup race. And a lot of competition in front of him there. Xfinity Series champion after he won the championship last year at Phoenix. It was announced he would take over at Joe Gibbs Racing in the Cup car. Making just a few starts. This one his seventh in the Xfinity Series this year, focusing mostly on all of the racetracks for the Cup Series. He continues to burn out.
will climb out of the car and he wins at the historic Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Crew jogging down to meet him on the front stretch. That was an impressive full circuit burnout. <laughs> Remember, in turn seven, he also did a few donuts. And Dave is down there to talk to the winner. Hey, he's giving out hugs right now, Rick, to everybody on his racing team here. And it took the reigning champion of the Xfinity Series seven tries this year, but you are finally in victory lane. Does it seem like it's about time? Yeah, definitely about time. Uh, really cool to get one here at the Brickyard. I grew up racing go-karts in Newcastle right down the street, so really special to me. Thank you. Uh, he gets us. Uh, all glory to Jesus Christ. Awesome car. Great car. Thank you, Jason Ragba. This is the man right here. And hey, Jason did such a great job. Thank you. Uh, this is just so special to me. Take us back to racing nearby, Ty, and knowing that this place was here and what it might mean someday to win. Yeah, really cool. I raced go-karts right down the street with a bunch of kids, um, you know, so... I, I mean, some of them are in IndyCar now, so it's cool to kind of, we're all just, just just at this level, so really special. We got the Brickyard, let's go! Speaking of levels, uh, you've got some work to do tomorrow, right? Just barely above that cut line. What does this do for your tomorrow? I know the cars are very different, but what'd you learn today? Uh, just go in. <laughs> you feel like you know the track better? Yeah, for sure. I think, you know, track time's great, so thank you that he gets us to Monster Energy, to all these guys. Thank you to Mitch Covington, um, David Gallon. Man, let's go. All right, seventh try is a charm. He's in victory lane today.